Good morning, you're watching NewsX with me, Crispino Nunes. A United States Navy veteran has been arrested for allegedly killing an Indian immigrant engineer and wounding two others at a crowded sports bar. Adam Purinton is accused of killing Srinivas and wounding his co-worker Alok at Garmin. The accused was arrested in Missouri after he told a bartender that he had shot two Middle Eastern men and needed a place to hide. A third man, Ian Grillot, who was also there at the spot, was shot. When the gunman stopped him, he said, Well, we have breaking news coming in. Srinivas Kuchibokla, wife of Sunaya Dumara, speaks at a press conference. She says that the man who did this has been taken away. Has taken away a very lovable soul. The whole family is in grief. He was just enjoying his glass of beer to get off from his work stress. He, he has taken a life, a very lovable soul. I was always concerned. Are we doing the right thing of staying in the United States of America? The government has to make sure that I can come back to this country at my will to pursue his dreams of me being successful. Kal dopeher, mera tisra bai US mein rata hai. He has called me up at around 11 o'clock in the morning, saying that he has been shot. Then one of his friend has confirmed at around 12:31 p.m. that he is no more. As of now, what? I am seeing in the media is the only base which I can say that a person has done some racist remarks saying that get out of my country and my brother and his friend were only the persons whom he was targeting. It was whom he wanted to attack them in that crowded bar. I was just doing what anyone should have done for another human being. It's not not about where he's from or his ethnicity. We're all humans. So I, I just felt I did what was naturally right to do. I was hit in the, the hand and the chest. Uh, cause initially I had I'd gotten him at the table when he first started firing. Thought I heard nine shots. Expected him, his magazine to be empty. Um, so I got up and proceeded to chase him down. Um, try to subdue him so that way the police could come in and do what they needed to do. And uh, I guess I miscounted and with everything going on. And I got behind him and he turned around and fired around at me. You know, I, I might defer to the, the district attorney as well, um, since at this point we are in a charge, uh, charging stage uh, to, to really cover the rules of this case. You know, know as, as far as the motivation um, of this case and the facts surrounding it, uh, you got to remember we're less than 24 hours in. Um, there are investigators currently going out and still interviewing people. And so what we want to do is we want to be able to be sure of our facts versus um, speculation. And so we're not prepared at this point to talk about the particular facts of the case because this is still very fresh. There's a lot of people working the street. And quite frankly, it would be uh, unethical for me to go into a lot of details based on Kansas law to discuss those details. Yes, so the... Uh, the Garmin associates that were involved in the incident uh, were members of our aviation team. Uh, you know, I don't know the extent of, of their uh, positions here, but can confirm that uh, they're a part of the, the Garmin family and part of the aviation team, which is a, a very important part of the business here at Garmin. Yeah, Matt, as we were talking before, uh, I don't personally know these, these gentlemen that uh, were involved in the uh, Austin incident last night, but uh, to the extent that Garmin is a big company, but a big family. Uh, when somebody uh, suffers, we all suffer. So it's uh, it's a time that, out of respect for the family, we, we really don't have any comment to make. At one level, it is a crazed individual who is uh, expressing his own deep anxieties, his own deep uh, prejudices. 
and therefore one should not i think use this as an example to say that there is general or widespread racial hatred in the united states against indians i don't think that would be correct to do at the same time there is no denying that uh, a head of government or a head of state can create an ethos in which such uh, crimes take place i think it should it should be a strong it should be treated as a very strong message to the world community to the indian community that they, there are people even in india who celebrated trump's victory look what trump means i think my government would do certainly would take up steps which ensures the safety and security of our citizens uh, living there in us number 1 number 2 we also need to build a kind of movement against xenophobia everywhere anywhere i think that is what is needed as of now otherwise i think we we'll lose the entire narrative of what we say the world community a hate crime is is described uh, as a criminal act which has been committed on the basis of bias on race religion uh, ethnicity sexual orientation uh, and so on so and and if it is classified as a hate crime it can be prosecuted as a federal crime not just uh, subject to the state laws uh, so that makes it uh, that, that that makes the investigation more seriously focused so we hope uh, that 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 is the course that will be pursued but we can only see how the law takes its course trump is the number 1 racist of the world and those supporters of trump in india they will get disappointed when the lakhs and the lakhs of the um, um, boys and the girls they will lose their job after some time he is coming to india our his counterpart in india mr narendra modi now he must talk to him in in, in a free and frank way